The announcement of the scholarship scheme came shortly after the opposition NDC announced a revision to its fee policy for tertiary students. A statement issued by the national chairman Samuel Ofosu Ampo, who stated the next NDC government will now absorb the full school fees of Ghanaian students who will be admitted to tertiary institutions in the 2020-2021 academic year. The NDC's national campaign. So this is what the statement actually says. This policy is an enhancement of our commitment in the People's Manifesto to absorb 50% of the school fees of all tertiary students for the 2020-2021 academic year through the Chemupe policy, which will now apply to only continuing students in tertiary institutions in the country. The flag bearer of the party, His Excellency, uh, His Excellency John Dramani Mahama, will in due course throw more light on this enhanced package for Ghanaian students who will be admitted to tertiary institutions next year, dubbed Feninina. And uh, this is signed by Samuel Fosuampofu, who is the national chairman of the NDC. Now, the NDC's national campaign manager, Joshua Alabi, has meanwhile been defending his party's decision to introduce free tertiary education for all senior high students, school students. According to him, the gesture will also be extended to continuing students. He spoke with MFA Apal earlier on the Media News on Joy FM. What we will be is also the, the, to absorb 100%. Initially, in our manifesto, we said 50% for all. But we just finished our rounds and uh, all around every region. And actually, you'll see the impact of COVID on the people. And that alone will let you know that they need help. Now, freshers have a lot to do. Uh, they have to pay freshers fees, accommodation, etc., etc. So as a former vice chancellor, I know the burden of freshers when, when, when they admitted. So having gone around and having listened to the people, and as, like you know, our, people, our, our manifesto is the people's manifesto, not a consultation. So we decided to listen to the people, and we said, okay, now the freshers will give them 100%, we're going to absorb that. But the continuous students also have effect. So ours is not limited to only the first. Okay. Then the continuous students will have 50%. Mm. Yes. But, but some have described this as an afterthought because the time that the People's Manifesto was being put together, of course, or being launched, uh, the COVID-19 impact was also with us. So many say that this is just a last-minute scam uh, to, you know, uh, lie to the electorate to vote for you. We don't lie to the electorate. And you see that don't lie to the electorate. Now, in, like I said, initially we said 50%, and that was not a scam. Now we are saying 100% because we've gone around. Look, you need to go around as a journalist and we see the impact of the COVID. I've been to Bukoku, I've been to UU, I've gone around the whole country, and I tell my sister it's not easy. So we said, then let's move the 50% to 100% for the first year, and then the other students remain at 50. It is those cup, and we are, we are going to do it. Have you costed it? My sister, at the moment, as we see, we know that the MPP has over 100 and something ministers. At the moment, we need a lot of advisors all over the country. And I tell you, when we do prudent costing, you know that just to be free for a country to absorb.